Today we are creating the simple topography hook that many creators like Tom Noski and plenty others use on their content. And the biggest reason why I want to cover this is simply because it's a simple, clean hook that gets my attention each and every single time I scroll through on Instagram. I don't know what it is about this hook. Maybe it's the font choice or just like the simple style, but it's super, super captivating. And when done properly, it looks so good. But today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to do it literally from complete scratch. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and just name my project, keep it super, super simple have a load up and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my footage so control I to import your footage you go ahead and find your footage wherever it is at okay sick so now that I have the footage put up right here I'm gonna drag and drop it into my sequence go to sequence sequence settings and then we're gonna change it to 1080 by 1920 for short form content now that that's done go ahead hit okay and then we are gonna resize this specific video to the frame we're gonna do it like so so that is simple that is good I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here in this little window so that way we can see a bigger view. Now, all that we have to go ahead and do is just cut up the hook. Um, so I'm, I use the C tool. Um, the C is set for cut tool. V is set for like, I think selection. And then the X tool is set for ripple delete. If you guys don't know how to set your keyboard preferences, you literally just go over here to Premiere Pro, keyboard shortcuts, and then you just change whichever one you want to change. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up really, really fast, and then we will get the show on the road. Okay, sick. So now that we have our hook already kind of created, I'm just gonna go ahead and just throw on like a uh, little bit of a audio fix. Also, the LUT's already applied in this clip, um, but otherwise I would have done that. So I'm gonna pull up my takeover pack, which by the way, link down below, drag and drop it, and we're good to go. So I say, here's how you create a simple viral hook for Instagram. What we're essentially gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go to the Essential Graphics tab, and we're gonna go to Text right here, or hit the T button, and then we're just gonna go ahead and lay out all of the words, and then we're gonna organize them later. So here's how you create a simple viral hook. So I'm gonna do here's, and then we're gonna go ahead and format it properly. So double click on the text, go to Mont, Sarah. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do, We'll do black, why not? Um, we'll do no shadow. Make sure it's just super clean. Keep it centered, keep it centered. Make sure this is centered as well, and then center, center like that. And then I'll do the apostrophe. Here's, I'm gonna duplicate it by holding option and dragging up. And then I'm gonna do just how. And I'll go ahead and just move this down just for now. You, we're gonna go down again. And you simply just do this entire process until you finish all of the words. All right, sweet. So now that I have all of the words, I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these to match the length of the hook. So I'm just going to full screen this and then drag this all the way back to match the hook. So now we're working with something like this and it looks horrible. So now um, before we go ahead and mess with the timing, sort of line it up to when I say it, um, let's organize the hook and make it look actually aesthetic. Now there's certain things that you can do. Um, for me, I'm going to use like sort of like a fake center line. So let me go ahead and just import a little guide. Just the uh, 50% will do vertical just like so. And we'll use that line as like a reference point. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to just honestly play around until I get a design that I sort of like. Um, so let's go ahead and just mess with the line line up of everything and i'm not going to be too too worried about how um if this isn't like the right spot i just kind of want to get the same sort of i just want to get like the basic sort of structure going here here let's actually split this up instead of doing this all in one because i feel like that's too many words so I'm going to try something like this. So I think that's a good first screen. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut these for now. Um, again, we are just trying to figure out the design and you really just have to play with it to make it, to make it work. So we're going to do a simple um, viral. Now that I actually have the official shapes sort of done before we place them exactly where we want them to be, like I kind of want this to be a little bit more to the right. Let's work on the timings of all of the wording. So the way that we work on the timings is simply by listening and then just placing them and then by placing the text where it is fit. So I'm going to go ahead and just move this over here because I know it's going to be like a little bit further back. So I say here's and then I say how and then I say you pretty close back to back. So let's see that. That's actually perfect. So I'm going to leave like that. 
And then I say A right here. Simple. I say viral right here. And then I say hook right here. Fire. Now let's go ahead and play through. Okay. So when this comes up, we're just going to go ahead and cut this out. And then we're going to go ahead and leave this right here, just like so. Then we're going to go ahead and just bring all of these down below. Then we're going to play through. Okay, so I actually kind of like that. So now let's go ahead and nest all of these text layers so that way we can reposition them to where we want them. So this is the first little sequence. We're going to go ahead and hit nest. I'm just going to do hook part one. I'm going to do nest hook part. Now we can go ahead and reposition them to center. Kind of want it to end up like right up in this area. And then we'll go ahead and keep note of that. And then move this over just like so. And we'll see how this looks. Okay, sick. That looks really, really good to me. So now the last step to really make this effect look really, really good is we want to animate our text. Now for me, I want to animate the text together. So I'm going to right click over here to hit nest. And then we're going to go to effects and then transform, drag and drop it. And we're going to do some keyframing. Um, so key thing, set it up to 360. So that way we have our motion blur and then also keyframe opacity, keyframe the position. Then we're going to leave these keyframes sort of in the middle. Then we're going to go to the beginning, turn the opacity to about right here. And then we're going to move this down just like so. So that looks very, very slow. So let's go ahead and bring it in just like that. And then right click over here on these keyframes. And then we're going to do, then we're going to do temporal interpolation, Bezier, and we're going to add a Bezier sort of adding some velocity to the edit. Now I'm going to start off by doing that. I'm going to bring this sort of up. So that way it's like a nice little curve, just like so. Bring it up just like that. And then we'll see how this looks. Okay, so that looks horrible. Okay, so that's not working. So I'm going to go over here. Hook part two. I'm just going to make this all longer. Just so that way we can move this keyframe back and make the slide in a little bit slower. Okay, I'm actually liking that a lot more. There we go. Money. Cool. So that looks really good. The intro animation, just like that. Now, the last step is just adding the camera movement. And this is like very, very simple to do. Drag and drop the adjustment layer. And then we're going to go over here to transform. Just like so. And then like this, go to scale, check this, throw this up. And then I'm going to go ahead and just make it like a smooth zoom out. So I'm going to go over here and then I'm just going to throw this back to a hundred. Pause. Okay, cool. Now you just select the Beziers or yeah, the, uh, the keyframes go to Bezier and then select this. And we're going to go ahead and create our little graph. We want to make sure that this is lined up smoothly. And we're going to go ahead and bring this down just like that. Let's go ahead and just zoom it in a bit more. But all right, guys, this is the actual final effect. So I'm going to go ahead and play it through for you guys one more time. So that is the end of today's tutorial. I hope you guys learned something from this video. It's really all about just playing around, making these sort of shapes look good. And by no means am I any professional when it comes to topography. This is literally my first couple times doing this sort of effect. So that just goes to show how simple and easy it is to recreate this for yourself. Anyways, guys, if you guys made it this far into the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And if you want, I have an editing store designed for short form content editors just like you, linked down below. But anyways, remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.